Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV, powered by Stage Front VIP. I'm Mr. Ronnie Shields, Coach Shields, how you doing? We're Very here, great. ahead of the press conference, the final days to the countdown, and not to the holidays, but to the big <laughs> fight this weekend. Talk to us about what it's like preparing fighters over a holiday weekend. You got so much experience. Well, you know, it really doesn't matter if it's a holiday weekend or not, because, you know, we, we training, so, you know, we know what we have to do. We know, you know, it's all about work. So, you know, so we just we just do what we have to do in the gym. And speaking about in the gym, we always hear that Maul Charlo saying, hey, I've been gone 30 months, I think it's something like that. Uh, but I've been in the gym, I've been training, I haven't been missing time. You be one that can attest to that. Where is he skill-wise coming into this fight? Oh, man, he's great, man. He, you know, his, his skills are intact. You know, he's, uh, he's been working really hard, man. And he's, he's, I think he's back to where he left off, you know. And we, we feel really good about how everything went in camp. Had great sparring. And we, you know, we, we just worked really hard, man. And he feels really good. And he can't wait until Saturday night. And speaking about where he left off, where he left off was knocking people out was flipping people over with KOs, uh, was looking impressive. His last fight was probably his most competitive fight that he had in a while, came out a little lumped up. Uh, defensively, where is Jamar gonna be on fight night? Uh, man, you know, his offense and, and defense is on point. You know, he feels really good. And, you know, he just, you know, he, he in his heart, he feels he has to show people that he's back, you know, and that's what he really, really wants to do. But that's what he wants to do. He don't care what people think, but he just he just wants to make sure with himself that he show everybody that, you know, Jamal Charlo is back. And as far as Jamal Charlo being back, the comeback opponent, Jose Benavidez Jr., uh, first fight up at 160, area 163, catch weight, excuse me break the opponent down, what do you think when you think about Jose Benavidez Jr.? Well, you know, I think he's a good fighter, you know. He's a kid that you you can't take, you can't take him lightly. You know, you take him lightly, you know, this kid has enough skills that he can beat you. So, you know, we we worked really hard, man. We worked, you know, uh, like, like this is for, for a world title. But, you know, the, the thing about it is, you know, Jamal has a lot of experience. And we know that we have to use all of that in order to win. And you talk about Jamal and his experience. Watching a press conference the other day on television, you could see that there was kind of a testy, some buildup between the two. Uh, what have you kind of done for Jamal to make sure that he keeps his eyes focused on the prize, which is ultimately defending his titles when it's time? Well, you know, talk is talk. And I think they can do that out here. I mean, that's, that's no problem with them doing that. You know, at press conferences and stuff like that. I mean, you know, he, he's, he's allowed to say what he feels. But he realizes one thing in the gym, you know, we have a plan. And we got to work on the game plan, and we work on that every day. We go over it right before the fight. He knows what he has to do, and he's going to do it. On the main card, the main, the main show of the night, we've got his brother versus Demetrius Andre, his brother being uh, David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andre. Tell us what you think about that fight and what you expect from opening Bell. Well, I think I think it's a great fight. You know, I really, really do. I think it's one of the best fights that could have been made in the sport of boxing today. And I know both guys are really eager for this fight, and they both want to prove that, that they're the best guy out there. So I'm expecting, to me, it's a 50-50 fight, but I think with the edge, slight edge to Benavides, that's in my opinion. But, you know, if he underestimates Demetrius, he's going to get beat. And when we talk about underestimating Demetrius, Coach, uh, I wanted to touch on that because you, of all people, you know Demetrius Andre uh, many years behind with many of these guys. You guys know them oh, yeah. uh, more than the fans do. Um, Demetrius Andre kind of suffered uh, socially with the comments made by Canelo Alvarez that he was a horrible fighter and that he was looking for a payday. But what's been underestimated about Demetrius? That he's a smart fighter, he's a good fighter. He's one of the best fighters in boxing today. You know, and if you, anybody sleep on Demetrius Andre, you're gonna get beat. That's just simple as that. You know, he's that good. And 
like I say, this is going to be a tough fight. And, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if Demetrius win at all. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Both fights kind of close in size range. Is there any chance that the winner of one fight can meet the other? Has any talk of that been made? Do you know anything, no, anything like that? No, not that I know of. Not that I know of. You know, again, I know their main focus is each other. Just like our, our main focus is, is against Jose Benavides. You know, we can't look past him because we look past him. You know, it's, it's not a good thing. You know, we, our whole focus has been Jose Benavides, nobody else. Well, there you have it, folks. Coach Ronnie Shields will let you get everything prepared. I know the folks for Showtime are waiting for you as well. They've been gracious enough to give us the time. Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub TV. Mr. Ronnie Shields, thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you, man.